G'day, I'm Scott Gibbons and I'm here at Paravans Caravan World in beautiful Windsor and I'm going to show you some of the finer features of the River Caravan as we hand it over. Are you ready? Come join me. So importantly, I've been caravanning for years and years and I still use a checklist every single time. So make up a little checklist that you can understand, you can read and that'll make this so easy. So hitching up is pretty easy, it's pretty easy. What you do is you reverse in, lower it down onto your DO35 hitch. As you do that, you'll find there's a little red button there. Once it's happy, press down on the little red button. That'll go click and you know you're secured. There is also a safety cap that goes on or a protection cap that goes on the DO35. Now that won't go on if you haven't hitched up properly. So that's a nice little thing because you'll hear another click from that. Coming onto there, you do your safety chains. Now the safety chains are vital and you need to cross them over. Cross them over, don't put them parallel do cross them over, come across them, you then have your 12 pin plug that powers all the electrics through. Go across to your, your safety brake because your breakaway system is law, you need to have that on there. Once you're happy and everything's good, of course you've taken away your jockey wheel, you can take your handbrake off and everything's right to go. Now to do the reverse on that, you just do everything in reverse. So to undo it, do everything in reverse. Now here's a good little safety tip for you. This is the jockey wheel. Now you see these safety ribs on here? They're intentional because they're held on by the grips that are built into the jockey wheel holder. So when you put your jockey wheel back into that holder, make sure that the rib goes into the gap and that's important and you'll have a much safer trip. So here are your gas bottles, they're great for the barbie, might be for your fridge, might be for your cooking, any number of reasons, but here's your gas bottles. Now importantly, you must have the gas turned off when you're traveling. So when you're traveling along, gas is turned off. When you want the gas, turn it on, it tells you on the little knob here, which way is closed and which way is open. So you open it up, and if you're using this bottle, turn this to that bottle, it's like a little arrow, so it's pointing to that bottle, that's the one you're using. When that's run out, you can lift that up, turn it over here, open up this bottle, and now you've got that one. Do remember though to fill that one back up because you're down to one bottle. So located just between the two gas bottles on this particular van is your front tap. So this particular model has a toolbox built in. This is a jerry can holder with the protection chain already installed. If I open this side up, this one's got a tray already built in that slides out. Press that little yellow button down. That slides out so you can put a fridge in there. Just hear that click when you close it. I'll close that back up. On the other side is another slide out as well, and that's ideally designed for a generator. We're on the driver's side of the river caravan. We just open those hatches up nice and easy. This is a big tunnel boot. The beauty thing is this is the battery here for your brake safe system. That's already there. Then you've got part of your Odyssey link, and then you've got your Odyssey battery charger, etc. That's all installed there. Over here, You've got lighting already installed, so you've got lighting here, and you've got lighting down the other end as well, and you've also got a Kojak that's already supplied with the caravan. Now here's a couple of Paravan's handy hints for you. When you find the right site, and, and you're going to lower your legs, because you want to lower your legs, there's legs on the four corners of the van, and that gives you stability, so you can walk around the van without the van having any major rock up. So just pull that out, lower the leg down, and then grab your handle and you can just lower that down to the ground. So that's, that's fine, that goes down, that just holds it on. But if you're in soggy ground, if it's wet grass, soggy ground, you can always have a spare bit of timber with you. Put that underneath and that will give you much more stability. That's a good hint. The other hint is that you can get a 12 volt rechargeable drill and have the same head on your drill so you can just do that with a zit zit all happy and done you don't necessarily have to use the big long jack now here's another paravan sandy hint this is your water filler caps they come with keys so they're lockable but when you fill up with water always use a water quality or drinking quality water hose so that's normally a white hose with blue lines along it it's a water quality you don't get that plastic taste if you use your domestic hose you will get plastic taste so the water quality hose is the hint of the day as we come along here you'll find that you've got a jacking point there this is if you're getting town water now so you're at a caravan park or you're at home and you're plugging in again use water quality hose that just goes straight onto here there's your battery boxes under there now this is your heater. 
So that's your hot water service, your hot water heater. Don't touch that, that's Bernie Bernie, don't touch it. Now this is another Paravan's handy hint. What you'll see is on the inlet, your power inlet that you're bringing power in is 15 amp. Now your normal domestic power is 10 amp, so you can't use your domestic cord. This is a 15 amp cord, you'll see the third pin is much bigger. So don't try and use your domestic 10 amp on a 15 amp. So you need to go and buy a proper 15 amp lead and you'll get that from any caravan parts supplier. This is your toilet canister. So we open that up. Again, that's lockable. And this is really easy to pull out. You just lift up this little orange handle, lift that, pull out the canister. And that has wheels already built in. That handle pulls out and you can go along to where your dump site is. Now importantly, and this is really good, this is your dump point. So I'll just put that little handle in, take that off, do not lose it, do not lose that. Here's your handle, tip it into your dump point and make sure that you put your cap back on. Rinse it out a few times first, give it a swig, take the cap back off, Empty it out again, do that two or three times. Put your cap back on. That turns over there. That just slides straight in. That little handle goes in, so it goes click. You'll hear that little click, there it is. And it's all done. Now this is the rear of the river. This is the external shower. Really good feature. If yours has got one, then you're going to love it. It's great if you've been out to the beach and you want to have a hose off, get rid of all the sand, wash it off the kids, wash it off the pets, do all those things. Just a great feature. That's hot and cold. Under here is your grey water tank. So you've got the tap on there so you can empty your grey water. Really good feature again. Spare wheel, reversing camera, and of course you've got uh, stop lights and night lights and blinkers all ready to go. Come around the other side with me now. Now your river may be coming with extra boots at the rear, so they're boots. This is a great one. This is the little media center. So I'm gonna open this up for you. So you've got the TV bracket, but over here you've got two 240 volt power points, a 12 volt power, and then you've got the TV antenna. So it's a lovely outdoor little media center. Now, of course, for further entertainment, you've got speakers on the outside. Then there's fabulous lighting all the way up here, including lighting by the front door and above the front door. As you come here, this is wonderful. This is a great big picnic tray. So you've got that all done, terrifically sorted. Now, this is a fabulous door. You've got four security points on it, which is excellent. But this is your, your fly door, your mesh door, your insect door. So if you just pull this up like that, that comes out. There's your door, other doors over there. So you've got a nice breeze able to go through anytime you want. And now what I'll do is talk to you about the awning. This is such a simple awning. Just push that out here, loosen that knob there. The same setup is up the other end. So you'll loosen the knob, pull that thing out. I'm just going to get the awning rod, which is in here. So what we have to do now, I've got the hook, I take it up here, I go click, and then the awning's ready to pull down. So it doesn't fly back, you can just pull it out. Now erecting the awning, it looks complex, but it's not. It's really, really simple. If you practice it and practice it and practice it, you'll have it so smooth. So here we go, we just slide this up now and we'll hear a click. Once we hear that click, that's fine. Now all we have to do is tighten this up and then take this handle and start sliding up. Now I'll take this along. Tied up here so that nobody walks on it. And now you're ready for happy hour. Now a little clue here from Paravans again. All you do is push down on that. This says roll up. So push that back to roll up. Make sure that you've got the safety cord in your, in your hand up your end. And you just hold the tension. And that's it. Now that you've rolled it away, the most important thing, really important, don't forget to reverse the beginning steps, and that is to tighten this nut up and to clip that down. 
very, and do it down the other end as well before you drive away. Otherwise you've got an awning going all over the place. Every Aussie loves a Barbie, don't they? Every Aussie. And some of you have been lucky enough to order your Paravans caravan with a barbecue. And this isn't just a barbecue. I'm gonna slide this out. You just press those two little levers down here. Oh, you are lucky ducks, you are lucky ducks. When you open this up, because it all slides out, this is a little warming tray. Here is a grilling plate. Lift that up, when it's cool, of course. <laughs> Lift that up, oh, it's nice and heavy too. You've got two burners. So you've got burners here, so you've got stove. That flips up, that's out of the way, so that's good. So you've got two burners there, and you've got your warming tray, then you've got your grill, and then you close the door, you've got an oven. Is that sensational? It's sensational, lucky you. Now, here's your preparation table over here. You've got sink here, hot and cold water. There's your hot and cold hoses and then you've got your gas. Now each time that you want to use the unit, you just connect up your hot and cold water and your gas, you are ready to go. And then when you pack up, undo your hot and cold water and your gas because then you're legal to travel. Just fabulous. Oh, you're gonna love your van. You're gonna love it. Under here, this beautiful bed, is a host of storage. You've got access door if you want it, but there's a host of storage, so that's easy. They're on gas struts, so you've got all of that. As you come over here, you've got little reading map books, so your little books can go in those holders there. There's double power points on either side, double power points on either side, and there's USB points up under your reading lamps here, so nice and easy. So as you come around, you've got a window, of course, and the windows are so nice. Now this blind gives you nice privacy, and but this one is your full privacy blind. Now they can, they can just match up. So you can lift them up at will jointly or separately. Now with the windows, all you do to open your windows is these little latches here. And then the window opens, tighten these little knobs up and that keeps the window open for you, which is just fabulous. Make sure though, before you drive away that you do shut your windows and lock every lock because you don't want them flapping about while you're driving. So here we go, we'll just close that up now, close that up, close that, and that, and that, and then bring your blinds down, it's all secure and lovely. So over here is a Sirocco fan. These are really good because you just pull that down. That allows you to move the fan in any direction that you want. You can go up, down, whatever. Around to the side is the little fan point and you just press that and it's got multiple speeds on it. So nice and easy, lock it away, put that down, that's fine. But above your bed is another fan and this one either draws air in or exhaust the air through. So if you've got the door open and you want a nice breeze coming in, all you do is open up the vent and then turn this. And there's your fan and it's got multiple speeds and you can have it nice and quiet if you wish. You can have that on while you're sleeping. It just gives you a nice little breeze, but you've got air conditioning anyway. But that's there, that's there. So we'll just turn that off and that's good. But that's a reverse fan. So it goes either in or out. Over here is your TV. Now the TV has got a DVD slot built in anyway, so you can watch DVDs. But you can have that face in the bedroom, you can tilt it, you can bring it around to the living room, tilt it down again if you wish. That's wonderful. But above here is your aerial. Now the aerial is so good because it says wind the aerial down or wind the aerial up. So if I want to go up, I make it go up. The aerial will go up then you can connect in your TV and you know you're going to get good signal if you've got good signal. But you can adjust the direction of the aerial purely by pulling this down and then adjusting it. So once your aerial's all the way up, you can adjust the direction of your aerial so you're picking up the best signal. And then one extra hint from Paravans, make sure that you lower your aerial before you drive away. You don't want to find a little tree or a bridge, so lower your aerial before you drive away. That's another thing to add onto your checklist. Now a microwave oven, no surprise, but you've got a microwave oven, so that's fabulous. That's here, but importantly, with all the electronic devices that you get, Paravans give you all the warranties, all the booklets, so that comes with the caravan, so you've got something to read. <laughs> we'll put that away. Over here, this one has filtered water, so you just press that, and there's your filtered water, which is really good. As you come across, here's your oven and your stove set up, so you just lift both of those up. 
that's gas, gas, gas electric. So you've got gas bottles outside and you've got 240 volt. So if you're somewhere, if you're poking into a caravan park or whatever, you've got 240 volt, that's fine. This one also has the grill. So that's lovely. I'll pull this down. As we come up under here, you've got the light and the exhaust fan or the recirculating fan. So that's your light. And here's your fan here. Now the fabulous part is you've got beautiful music up here and it takes CDs as well. So if you've got your CD collection, you can bring that with you, plug it in. You've got wonderful speakers all the way through, so you'll enjoy that. This fridge is a compressor fridge. So you've got a big freezer and a big fridge. And the best part is it works on 240 volt or 12 volt, automatically works out which one you want. It's just super, super simple, but a great fridge. Now, one of the best things about going away is having all the comforts of home, and of course you've got them. This has even got air conditioning, so you get a remote control, you get air conditioning, it's hot, it's cold, you just set it up to suit you. It's 240 volts, so when you come into your caravan park, just plug in and away you go. Now this is where it gets really exciting. So you've got your circuit breakers here, your hot water switch for electric, your hot water switch for gas. Up here is your Wi-Fi modem and router. So that's already installed. And over here, this is where it all gets very, very simple. Your two water tanks are noted and your gray water tank. Now you have three zones on your lighting. You've got zone one, two, and three. What it tells us down here is we've got water pump one, water pump two, and then we've got our battery and that's showing us that we've got an absolutely full battery so that's wonderful it's a great thing to have makes you so relaxed when you're on the road paravans love you to be relaxed you know dining in your caravan is one of the highlights of going away and this table is another highlight have a look underneath is a handle you lift that handle up and now i can make that table slide i can make it come out so you've got easy access i can twist it if you want to you can have the table any which way you want backwards forward square and round as they used to say and the other thing is you've got another button under here and if you put your foot on that button press down on the table it lowers down and creates another bed so this area here becomes another bed for a couple of littlies or maybe someone that's so you just put your foot on that push that down Josh is going to hand me that that goes on there and you're done in fact I can move that so it slides in even better and of course, once you've done and somebody's had a lovely sleep, just take the cushion off, press the little foot and button under here, click that, up comes your table, and now it's ready for breakfast, or lunch, or dinner, or whatever you'd like. Oh, happy holidays. Oh, these toilets are so simple and so easy because we showed you the canister outside, the toilet's connected to the canister. You get an aqua chem blue that comes with it. So you can either use little pouches that come from your camping store or aqua chem blue. So we'll lift that up before you use the toilet for the first time. The gate is closed, so we'll open the gate. We'll pour that in. Add some water just by pressing the button here, which is your little flush button. It's a little blue button. So you add some water there. Close that. Now your toilet's closed and everything's fine for traveling. If somebody wants to use it, they lift it up, open the flap, use the toilet, flush, close it, flush again, fill that up again, and everything's fine for the next person. So here's your exhaust fan. So there is this little flap here. So you lift that up, that opens you up to the sky. You have got a mesh screen for insects, so that's already done and then just that's your lighting if you want it but that's your fan so that exhausts everything out you've got the same thing in the shower as well so all that steam gets to go away so if you're going out for the day or you're driving away again make sure that you do shut these flaps and hatches very important and here next to your vanity is a washing machine so that's already set to go it's already plumbed in already powered on all you have to do is do the washing so if you're ordering or you've just getting a diesel heater you are just in happy land because the Eberspacher diesel heater will just warm your van it's just warm as toast and the beauty thing is you can adjust the temperature at the moment in this van it's around about 26 degrees if we want to we can lower that down to 20 but you might find if you're down in the snow country because you'll be wearing all the dunas and and things like that when you're in bed you might be happy just to have it sitting at around about 15 degrees because that's going to keep the floor nice and warm so if you get out to go to the bar bathroom or anything like that it's just terrific here's a couple of extra hints from paravans now your psi in your tires should be about 45 48 so it's 48 48 psi in your tires 
Now the torque for your wheel nut, about 140. 140 for torque on your wheel nuts, 140 pound that is, and you'll be happy. So there you go from Paravans, part of the handover for your river caravan. And don't forget, make your own checklist and check that off each and every time that you pull into a spot so you don't forget anything. Roof hatches, awning, those sorts of things. And then check your brake lights and your stop lights and your blinkers before you drive away. And the next thing you have to do is just have a fabulous time because at Paravans, we want you to do that. We'll see you on the road.